has it happened to you that that one thing that you thought will bring happiness to you be it a fancy car that marriage that expensive vacation only for you to find out that after you got it that it didn't make you happy or as happy as you thought so many of us focus on our happiness only to discover that in the long run it's actually making us unhappy could it be that our relentless pursuit of happiness is actually making us unhappy let's talk about stuff that matters happiness and contentment this is one of the videos on happiness satisfaction and how to live a rich and fulfilled life today we'll be diving into a perplexing phenomenon that affects millions the happiness paradox what it is why it happens and what we can do to come out of it so let's explore the complexities of the human mind and uncover truths that can transform your life Hi everyone my name is Aina I'm a flight attendant and a cabin crew trainer apart from travel other topics that excite me are leadership health and wellness welcome to this channel if you casually ask people what do you want in life they say i want to be happy we live in an age obsessed with happiness from self help books to motivational speakers everyone seems to be on a quest for that elusive feeling yet despite all our efforts many of us still feel unfulfilled and dissatisfied we all have been after happiness in some or the other form be it money that partner those fancy gadgets that big house or that status that we've been seeking through a job or fame or both but at some point we all realize that it's fleeting in nature maybe all that our society has been feeding us with was wrong and it's actually making us unhappier think about that for a minute in our relentless pursuit of happiness we've ironically stumbled into a trap chasing happiness is making us more miserable than ever now it might make you happy in the moment or for the short term but when you reflect enough you realize that you're not as happy as you'd imagined that thing or person will bring to your life this isn't dystopian fiction it's the world many of us unknowingly inhabit welcome to the happiness paradox the happiness paradox is a psychological phenomenon where the intense pursuit of happiness actually leads to greater unhappiness it's not just about the pressure to be happy but the expectation that happiness is something we can chase down and hold on to it's like sand through your fingers at the beach the more fervent pursuit will result in less accomplishment of that joyful feeling this paradox highlights the problem with viewing happiness as a destination rather than journey this particular obsession is peculiar to the western world as the eastern cultures have a balanced view of happiness contentment and life in general i've been to countries such as bhutan japan and of course india and when you delve deep into such cultures you find a different definition of happiness and contentment and you see that glow on the faces which comes from inner joy and calmness now i'm no saint and in my pursuit of happiness misguided by the consumerist outward focused world of ours 
I've done stuff in which I've wasted my time, energy, emotions, and even money, only to realize that it made me excited in the short term, but gave me no happiness in the long run. But why is this paradox so prevalent, especially in Western countries or the ones that follow a consumerist mindset? A lot of it comes down to cultural and societal values. In many Western societies, happiness is marketed as a product. They often emphasize and glorify individual achievement, material success and external validation. We're taught to believe that happiness is something we can attain through our own efforts alone. However, this can lead to a constant feeling of inadequacy and a never-ending chase of more. The idea that we should always be happy is deeply ingrained creating a culture where negative emotions are stigmatized and the pursuit of happiness becomes an endless race. This also creates immense pressure and unrealistic expectations. Social media exacerbates this problem. Those curated reels and pictures of others' lives make us constantly compare ourselves and make us feel inadequate. We end up in a constant state of seeking, always chasing the next thing that promises to make us happy. Self-help industries and the constant barrage of feel-good messages fuel this obsession too. The consequences of this paradox are far-reaching and detrimental to our physical and mental health. Constantly striving for happiness can lead to chronic stress, anxiety, and even depression when the idealized state of happiness remains elusive. The pressure to avoid negative emotions can cause us to suppress them, leading to emotional burnout and mental health issues. Moreover, this fixation on happiness can isolate us, making us feel alone in our struggles as everyone else seems to be happy around us. Moreover, it prevents us from fully experiencing and learning from negative emotions, which if you think about them deeply are natural and even necessary part of the human experience. It can also lead to unhealthy behaviors such as overeating, substance abuse and excessive spending. So many of us do one or all of this to numb emotions that we think are negative and to show to others that we are happy. The pursuit of happiness when taken to extremes can become a vicious cycle where the more we chase it, the further away it gets, leaving us trapped in a loop of dissatisfaction. To understand happiness, I've read almost all books written about happiness. For example, The How of Happiness, Build the Life You Want, Stumbling on Happiness. If you're so smart, why aren't you happy? Authentic happiness, flow, one of my favorite ones, happier and a lot more. And here are a few insights that I'd like to share so you break free from this paradox. The key lies in shifting our focus from chasing happiness to being present in the moment, cultivating a sense of contentment and acceptance, and understanding the shared human experience. Let me expand on some of these strategies. To start with, please understand that happiness is just one type of emotion from 
the emotional spectrum. Maybe uh, I'll make a video on just emotions so that we recognize them as some of us might have a limited vocabulary for it. Allow yourself to feel and express a range of emotions, say joy, sadness, anger, and everything in between. Now, I'm not saying that when you're angry, we start breaking things or start hurting people or even ourselves, but learn different ways of letting those emotions out. By accepting these emotions rather than resisting them, we reduce the pressure to feel happy all the time. And also accept that it's normal and actually healthy to not be happy all the time. Understand that happiness is a journey, not a destination. So don't be pressured by society's expectations. For example, the amount of money you need to earn, get married, have kids, earn more to show to the world how rich and famous you are. And you know the list goes on. Figure out what you want and why you want that thing or person in your life. Also reflect that what do you bring to the table? This will require you to self-reflect quite a bit and get rid of the superficial ones. Most of us are doing well in life and sometimes we forget that uh, we might have more than we need. Practicing gratitude is one of the best antidotes to feeling empty. Regularly acknowledge the good things in your life, no matter how small. Mindfulness teaches us to live in the present moment without judgment. It helps us to appreciate the small everyday moments that often go unnoticed when we're focused on the future or the past. Breathing exercises can also help you to center yourself. Click on the link here to learn more about a few powerful ones. Instead of measuring success by happiness alone, consider other factors such as personal growth, relationships, and meaningful experiences as your definition of success. This broader perspective can help alleviate the pressure to be always happy. Building genuine connections with others can provide a sense of belonging and support. Sharing our struggles and joys with others can help us feel less isolated in our pursuit of happiness. You don't need to share only great experiences on social media all the time and please don't get absorbed by all the fake positive stories that people share it's time to unfollow such people also understand that the world does not need to know everything that's happening in your life have fewer close relations but meaningful ones Instead of striving for happiness, focus on finding purpose and meaning in your life. Engaging in activities that align with your values and passions can lead to a deeper, more fulfilling sense of well-being. Find ways of getting into those moments that psychologists call a state of flow. Viktor Frankl beautifully summarized it in a paragraph in one of my favorite books, Man's Search for Meaning. He wrote, for success, like happiness cannot be pursued, it must ensue. And it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen and the same holds for success. 
you have to let it happen by not caring about it. In the end, happiness isn't something to be captured or forced. It's a byproduct of living a life aligned with your true self where contentment comes from embracing the full spectrum of human experience. By letting go of the relentless chase for happiness and by accepting our full range of emotions, we open ourselves to a richer, more authentic life experience. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And remember, sometimes the best way to find happiness is to stop searching for it. On that note, till we meet again, Aina signing off and may you stay mindful, stay curious and let happiness flow into your life naturally and effortlessly.